we got, uh, we're going to have some stand-up comedy for you guys, so I hope you guys are ready to laugh. First time of the canvas, it's all good for Sean. Is it Sean or Shan? It's all good for Shan, everybody. Wow, this is a really chill audience. This is pretty sick. I like this. And I have to apologize really, my heart kind of has been hurting all day, so if I have like a heart attack or anything, I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize if, if I mess up. But this is pretty cool. I like this place. Everything's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm black. I'm white. I'm actually a Jew Egyptian and uh, probably half American. I don't know where my blood comes from. I'm a, I'm a mutt. I looked it up online. It had no meaning. I have no idea really what I am. I'm pretty mixed up and everything. But I love looking up stuff online. You can browse for hours. Anything you want. For whatever meaning. And there's no purpose. Like I've written essays. Multiple essays. For no meaning. On flowers. On, on my background. On, uh, on this city. Why? Because the internet, you can look up and do anything you want. I was even on Amazon.com not too recently. And they had this cool gifting option. Or you can get gifts for, uh, you know, like a package for him, for her, for your grandparents. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So I tried to get a gift for, for him and for her, and it sends you a random package, and you never know what's going to be in it. And the package arrives, and I get one for him. I open it up, and it's this giant wall clock, an analog wall clock. I don't need a wall clock, so I just put it on my wall. I'm like, all right, that's great. I open up the package for her, and I was quite surprised. It was, it was interesting. It was a dildo. Now, I mean, it's cool. I, it was it was orange colored. It had all these nice buttons and features. It actually looked like a Wii remote, but I don't I don't need a dildo, especially an orange one. So I just put it in my closet. I'm like, this is pretty cool. And then a couple days after that, I was having a nice house party. We had a DJ in the back. We had a cool barbecue. It was really nice. And we had some cool ladies over. But then there's always that one lady like in the back. She's just idling her time. She kind of gives you that look like, talk to me, don't talk to me. I knew what she needed. I went over and I talked to her. I said, hey, come here, let's, let's, uh, I've got something for you. I showed her the, the dildo, you know, I said, look at the features. You know, it's, it's not a Wii remote. Why don't you take this dildo, and you go in that bathroom, and you orgasm. And I've got this wall clock, and I will time you as many times as it takes, and as much as you want, in that bathroom, because I know you're not having fun right now, and just, just do what you gotta do. She was a bit put off at first, but, uh, about an hour later, she was like, thanks. It worked out pretty well. And uh, I still have that wall clock and that, that dillo, and I still don't really have much use for it, except every time people come over, like, hey, I'm a good house guest, I'm a good house host, use it anytime you want. That's just what I do. I remember even I was at another party, I was driving home, and, well, I was drunk driving. I, I'm ashamed, I know. I got pulled over by the police. It wasn't really smart of me. They, they took my driver's license, and at this point, I was really freaking out. It got pretty tense. It got, it got really tense, actually, when they, uh, when they came back. They asked something I would have never expected them to ask. They asked if I was a female, and then they, they showed me my driver's license. And I, mean, I recognized my face, and I recognized all the information, but for the gender, it read female. Now, I don't know if it happened to be the fact that I was drunk and high at that same exact time, but I never knew that I had a driver's license that read female as the gender. But I answered the only possible way I could. I was like, yeah, yeah that's me. Um, so not only did I get arrested, but I also had to go to the doctor to get a physical. Probably the most awkward experience in my life. I mean, at this point, I've had more awkward experiences when I was younger. In fact, I remember back uh, in elementary school, Little Shan had this huge afro. I was a bit of a dick. I used to just mess with people. I, I didn't really care. And I remember I, I loved the monkey bars during recess. But there'd always be like the big sixth graders always trying to block it all the time. And they would always block it in awkward ways. Like they'd go in like circles or they'd kind of huddle up. And they would just use it as like their hangout spot. So one day I just kind of came up to them and I yelled at them and said, You guys, you know, you look like you look like a little, like a little penis. And I don't know why, but I didn't like cursing, so the only word I really had to, for people back then, and probably still now, is I would just call them like penis or dick, stuff like that. Probably not the best thing to say as an, an elementary school kid, because they, they kind of thought I was confused, and they called me, uh, they called me dick brain for a while, and that always, that always uh, got to me. I, I didn't know what to do about that, but 
I survived. I mean, uh, that's what that happens. You you do what you gotta do. I'm I'm usually like the the cool chill guy in the background. Even my my sister, she considers me a really cool chill person. She usually has me hang out with her friends, like to say like, hey, I've got a cool normal family. Look, here's my brother. And I remember she got this new boyfriend, and he was like this big Mexican macho guy. He was really cool. So we were invited to go hang out and went to go see a movie. This is a while back when. Bruce Almighty was at the theater, so we went to go see that movie in the East Bay. And he has this nice new uh, Camaro back then. It was this cool red color. It was a really cool car. We, we drove up there. We were watching the movie. And actually, prior to the movie, he was really nice. He's like, you know what? If you want to order anything from the theater, like, you know, get Slurpee, get some popcorn, do it. And I was like, hey, freebies. So I went and got everything I could. I got like, two Slurpees, I got three hot dogs. I got the little candy from the bags, and you weigh it. It was like, it was way too much food, and I, I didn't even share it with them. I don't know why. I was I was being a complete asshole that night, and we were watching the movie, and I just I downed all that food. I mean, I wasn't high or anything. I just I don't know. It was free food, so I took advantage of it. And I think about halfway through the movie, I don't know what was going on, but I felt like a weird curling in my stomach. It was pretty intense. I I don't know if I was gonna like die or if, if I was just having indigestion, it was it was really bad. Pretty much near the end of the movie, I was like giving my sister looks like I, I really, really gotta go. Like I, I don't know if it was the bathroom or what, but I was just I kinda got this shyness so I only I can't even fart in public so I, I didn't know how to express the fact that I probably had to go to the bathroom. But I was kinda giving her the hints, I was giving her the eyes, but she still didn't really get it. So the movie ends and this is a late movie so it's about like two o'clock in the morning. We get out and now I'm kind of walking, like I'm, I'm holding my, my butt, I'm clenching my butt cheeks, and I'm like, hey, hey, uh, you think I can um, just go to the bathroom? And my sister's like, no, what are you talking about? Just, just get in the car and let's go. And I, I knew, I, it was almost like a, a preset. I knew no way was I be able to, to get in that car and drive about, even though it was 10 minutes away, to get home, I knew I needed to find the bathroom. So I went next to a tree, and I just kind of hinted, like, look, you guys, you go in the, you go in the car, and I'm just going to chill right here for a little bit, and everything's going to be okay. They're like, no, what are you doing? Get in the car. So reluctantly, I, I got in the car. And it's a two-seater, so I had to kind of slip in the back seat. Once I laid down, that seat was so comfortable. I don't know. Maybe it was muscle memory, but it felt like a toilet. Now, nothing happened. I mean, everything was fine. Of course, until he, he drove. Once we got in the freeway, the seat started to shake. I started to relax a little bit. I, I started to get a little comfortable, so I ripped one, and uh, they asked me if something died in the back seat. I was like, no, nothing, nothing, nothing died. I, it does smell pretty bad. I mean, I don't know what to say. So they rolled the windows down, and then he's like, dude, what are you doing? And he, he hit the gas. Probably the worst mistake he could have ever done. Now, this car, it was a really good Camaro. It had like about 450 horsepower, so the seats were really starting to shake now. And I, I was like out of control. I, I really did not want to take a dump in the back seat of this guy's car. So I took a dump in the back seat of this guy's car. And it didn't go anywhere. It was still like in in my like, you know, clothes. It was, it was kind of being held and I kinda of had this like midway like kind of like reaction. I was like, guys, just, just get me home and I swear to God everything will be okay. So we get home and she she puts the seat down, she's like, just be careful, don't like, you know, don't let it drip out. So I just kind of put my foot first and just hop out, but I still have my back foot kind of dangling. And it, yeah, it gets all over the car and the inside. And I, I run all the way to the door, and it's just like a trail of crap leading from the car. There's just like a pile in the back all the way. But I'm still determined, so I go inside, and I go in the bathroom. It, I'm done. It doesn't even matter. It's, it's all over. They called me uh, shits and giggles after that. I think he even broke up. It wasn't, I wouldn't exactly say it was my fault. I mean, it probably was my fault, but that, that's just what happens. I mean, I don't know. It was a bad night for me. Well, that, that's all the time I have. Thank you.